Hello there Star Wars fans and welcome to another Rebelscum.com video review and today we are reviewing the Vintage Collection number 203 Offworld Jawa from Arvala 7. So Arvala 7, that's the planet that Mando goes to in the first episode of The Mandalorian in order to seek out this mysterious bounty. And then of course in the second episode he gets messed with by Jawas. Well, these are those Jawas. And what's really cool here is, so you got a really good image of the, one of the Jawas there in the card art. You got the Mandalorian there on the front. What's really cool is the accessories here. Now, don't forget, guys, there is still the Jawa coming with the Razor Crest, the HasLab Razor Crest piece. Um, now, that Jawa, I believe, is going to be slightly different from this one, or exactly the same. We'll know when we see it side by side. Um, however, the egg that he comes with, the Mudhorn egg, is going to be different. It's going to be the opened Mudhorn egg versus this one, which is the closed Mudhorn egg. He's got lots of accessories. He's got the classic Jawa blasters and a blaster pistol down here, the regular blaster pistol. On the back here, you got other figures from this wave. You've got the Season 7 of the Clone Wars, Ahsoka, in her Mando outfit. You've got Mandalore, Darth Maul. And a few others. The most exciting are those. Um, oh, I almost forgot Arc Trooper Echo. The other three, the Child, Grief Karga, and Best Ben Escape Leia were already released. So they're not technically part of this figure wave. Still, really cool figures. Really awesome. And now for the Jawa Loose. We had one that was shipped, I believe, by Target. And, oh boy, it, it was horrible. Let me Let me show you what they did. Just so you guys know, be careful when you order online because this can't happen. It was all kinds of messed up. The bubble was absolutely crunched and there was a big sticker right there on the bubble. Messed up. Not cool, Target. Not cool. Here are his accessories. He's got his classic Jawa blasters. Little blaster pistol. This thing is so tiny. Little blaster pistol. And the egg. The hairy egg. This egg makes me feel so uncomfortable. I just... Eggs shouldn't have thick fur like this. This is just crazy. But also, on an unrelated note, this is what I imagine a buffalo chicken egg to look like. Alright. So here is the Jawa... Nice little Jawa cloth goods. They did cloth goods on this little guy right here, and they are actually very, very nice. Fully articulated. Head is on a ball joint. You got shoulder joints, elbow joints, wrists. You've got a waist joint. You've got hips. Nothing at the knees, unfortunately, and nothing at the ankles. So his uh, articulation from the waist down well, hips down, I guess, is, is just non-existent. Um, but granted, Jawas, I guess, are shorter. Since they're so short, I guess they decided not to articulate the knees, but they've done articulated knees, I think, on a few others before. Maybe not Jawas, but I want to say some shorter characters have had articulated knees. Anyway, here he is. He can, of course, hold his snack of the day. Come on, hold it, hold the snack. Hang on, bring those, bring those arms in further. There we go, he can hold his snack of the day. He can also hold his blasters, either of them. He's, oh, I say that, there we go, there's that one. There's the blaster pistol. And then, of course, there's this other blaster. For comparison, here he is next to Din Djarin. He's going he's gonna to disintegrate some of those Jawas for trying to tear apart his Razor Crest. Oh, well, not trying. They did tear apart his Razor Crest. And this is just another awesome figure for your The Mandalorian collection. While they have done some really cool Jawas in 3 3 quarter scale, um, none of them quite resembled as accurately 
the Mandalorian off-world Jawa appearance, so I'm so happy that Hasbro has released this figure. And for those of us collecting the HasLab Razor Crest here pretty soon, it'll be nice if to, if nothing else to have an army of these little guys tearing it apart since the panels do come off of the Razor Crest. So I'm very excited to just see lots of posts of various collectors with just an army of the off-world Jawas just tearing the thing apart. There's going to be some really cool dioramas with that. Anyway, what did y'all think about this figure? And what are some characters from The Mandalorian that are hoping to see maybe sometime soon? Um, one that people may not think of a lot, I want to see maybe some of those awesome Gamorrean guards that were fighting at the beginning of season two in that underground fighting ring. That looked so cool. I want to see more of that. Um, a figure of those guys would be really sweet. Of course, there's other main The Mandalorian characters that we still don't have yet, like Cobb Vamp. That would be awesome. Anyway, what do you guys think? What are some The Mandalorian action figures and characters that you're missing that you really want to see in the future? And what are you hoping to see to come out of The Mandalorian in the future? Let us know also. We know filming starts very, very soon for Season 3 of The Mandalorian. So what are we hoping to see in Season 3? Let us know in the comments. Keep talking in those forums, guys. And check out rebelscum.com's main page for all kinds of awesome news, articles, videos, there's posts every single day on rebelscum.com, so make sure you're on rebelscum.com daily for all of that awesome content. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.